Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at removing punctuation um, from a piece of text using Spacey. This is a key task to do in, te in text pre-processing where we have a block of raw text and we want to um, normalize it into a, a sort of format that's suitable for machine learning and for uh, data analysis and other things. An example here, I'm just going to make this a bit bigger, to, of why this is an important task. Um, imagine you had the word and that naturally occurs a lot in a piece of text. Well, should that be the same as and with a comma at the end of it? Now, if, if we're splitting things up by spaces, for example, if we're tokenizing by words, these would be treated differently. The the raw word and without the comma at the end would be treated as a separate word from and with the comma at the end and that's not really what we want what we want is to say these are the same word they mean the same thing a similar principle applies if it's quotation marks all that means is that someone within the text is actually is actually quoting is, is saying those words it doesn't mean that the actual meaning of this word and is any different so we want to normalize that and we're going to look at the utilities that Spacey provides in order to do this. So we'll import the library first and foremost. And we're going to grab some raw text from BBC as before. And I think this little mix storyline might be the one to go for. So if we grab this, just the first um, few paragraphs of text here, and we'll set an attribute in the, in the Python code text which we can then take a look at. So here's the, the raw text that we get back from that. And we want to do a, a little bit of uh, pre-processing at the moment. Uh, we want to replace the new line characters we see there with just a space. And then we want to strip out any um, hanging spaces that are in the, the code and in the text rather. So we'll do that and we can have a look at what we get back from that. Don't think that worked. Okay, I need to. You need to set the variable, reset the variable text to the output of of these operations. So we get it back, and we can see that the the new lines are removed, but we still have all this punctuation, full stops, quotation marks. These should really be removed. We have a colon here again. That is, you know, the word explained. It has a particular meaning, and the fact that a colon just so happens to come after it does not change the raw meaning of the word. So this type of operation, this type of removal of punctuation is a key task for uh, for pre-processing text before machine learning um, and deep learning occurs later in the pipeline. So now that we've done that, um, what I want to do is just show you that this is indeed a, a document. Where, well, first of all, we need to actually create a document. So we're going to say um, NLP, we will use Spacey to load um, the English small language model. And then we'll create a document object out of that model, passing in here the text. And this text here, it comes from the text that we defined above. So we'll let that ha uh, run just now and that should create the object. Now, remembering from the last video that, um, or from earlier videos, a document in Spacey is just a sequence of tokens. So we have the doc, the string representation here, um, but we know that the type of this is a Spacey doc object. And it's a sequence, which means we can take the length of the um, document, just the way the way we can normally take out the length of a Python sequence, like a list or a set. And we can see that this particular bit of text has 162 tokens. So with that in mind, because we know it's a sequence, um, we can also do indexing. We can see, give me the first 50 tokens in the document. And we get um, the first 50 here. So we've got that in a, a format now, um, in a, a spacey doc object. We now want to get the text with no punctuation. And I'm going to use a list comprehension for this task. We're going to say, we're go give me the tokens, all the tokens um, in the document. If 
they are not punctuation. So if not token dot is punct. And so this uh, this is an attribute that's available on a on a spacey token object, which denotes whether or not it's punctuation. So just a comma or a quotation mark that would be uh, designated as just being punctuation. Um, so the is punct attribute would be true for that. Um, we don't want those. We want only the tokens that are not punctuation. And when we get those tokens, we can then join them up into a string. So if I, uh, so it's going to be um, t for t in text, no punct. And this will actually not work. Um, this gives us a type error because we can't. This is the Python string dot join method. We need to join strings here, and this t each token. Uh, it's a spacey token object essentially, which means we can't use that with a join. But the tokens have another attribute called uh, text, and it's similar to is punk. This is a, an attribute that exists on the token. Maybe to make that clearer, I'll rename these token. Um, so we're joining up the text and here we get it back and we can see the colon for example after explained has been removed the quotation marks are removed obviously this one is just because it's a python string um, so all the punctuation has been removed here and we've normalized the text to a more um, you know uniform representation um, and we do that using the by, by creating a spacey document consisting of tokens and by extracting only those tokens that are not punctuation and then joining those tokens that we've got back up into uh, the text. So that's how you remove punctuation in spacey. To take this a little bit further, if you wanted to perform even more normalization, a very simple extra step would be to lowercase everything and that gives you a lowercase representation. The reason you might want to do that is because, similar to why, you know, and and and, these should be treated as the same word, but in a similar manner, um, and and and, there's a difference in the, um, you know, the and, and the, first, the first instance has a, a capital letter, the second doesn't, but they should, by all respects, if you're, if you're trying to train a language model, or train a machine learning model over the text. These are the same word, so we want to normalize all the instances of the words, and that's how you do it. One of the one of the key steps in uh, pre-processing is lowercase folding or uppercase folding, as well as removing punctuation. So those are important steps, and I hope uh, this video shed some light on why we would do that and how you would do it with Spacey. Thank you.